Christopher Columbus first saw the lights of the New World on the night of the 11th of October, 1492. Before he could achieve this great feat, he was often at open defiance with his crew. Based on this, the play builds up a conflict of great imagination. Read the play of Hermenu to see how this conflict is resolved. He's a kangaroo, to kingdom come, the devil laughs, but God is done. They ought to stop that. The captain is always furious when he hears it. Shan't we even sing to keep our spirits? Who's that? Diego Garcia and Juan Patino, sir. It's dark. I would welcome the moon. I, I, Don Pedro. Some of us would welcome the coast of Spain still more. Impatient, Diego. There are limits to patience, sir. And you've reached them, hey. We like bats trying to fly by day. It's time he gave way. Why should one man have the lives of 50 in his hands? I hope we are not entertaining mutinous thoughts, Diego. Mutiny is an ugly word, sir. And an uglier deed. Juan, finishing his job at the rigging, rises, and with a salute goes off. Columbus comes in. He is a tall, well-built man of 46. Hair prematurely white, complexion fair, almost ruddy. A man of quick temper and irritability which he controls only with an effort. His face, in repose, is melancholic. Seeing Don Pedro in conversation with Diego, he looks a trifle suspicious. He turns quickly to Diego. That candle on the foremast is guttering. See that it is put right. I, I, sir. And, Diego. Yes, sir. This is the quarter deck. Yes, sir. A good sailor knows his place. Yes, sir. Columbus points off. Diego, scarcely concealing a scowl, goes off. Here's a keg of rum. The kingdom. Come! The devil laughs. But God is dumb. Columbus and Pedro descend to the quarter deck. Pedro, they drink too much. They are simple men and must have their relaxation. Next words break from him almost involuntarily. We have not all your visions, Captain. It is my will. Is that not enough? I am answered. Forgive me, Don Pedro. A curb for my tongue. Oh, a curb for my unbridled tongue, my worst enemy. My will, friend, because God's will, shall that suffice. I do not claim your confidence, sir. I claim yours. Here's a kego wrong. Your kingdom. Come! The devil laughs. But God is dumb. A blight upon their singing. Bid them stop. Pedro goes off, with an air of discontent. When he is alone, Columbus looks out to sea muttering. Mystery. Would God implant the desire to solve mysteries and not provide the solution? Suddenly Pepe runs up the steps to the poop dot. Who's that? Who is that? Me, Captain Pepe. Have you been there all the time? Please, sir, I am off duty. Then why aren't you down below? I prefer your company to theirs. Am I in the way here, sir? What a boy, and what do they say of the preference? I don't speak to them. I hate them. Shish, Pepe, and get you gone. Quick. Here. You heard what Don Pedro said. Yes, Captain. 
and he is the best. But even he doubts. Everybody doubts, except me. Everybody. Except me. Captain, except me. You are young enough to have faith. Thank you, boy. Here's a keg of rum. Your kingdom. Come! The devil laughs. But God is dumb. They horrible when they drink too much. They say it makes them forget. Poor fellows. Captain, be careful. Sometimes they are desperate. Here's a keg of rum. The kingdom come. The devil laughs. But God is dumb. That is ugly. I bade Don Pedro stop them. So you think they might become dangerous? Go, boy. Well, Don Pedro, their singing changes to a roar. The deepening of their discontent is ominous. Captain, they ignore my order. I'll make an example of one of them. Hello, there. What sneaking mischief, maker is that crawling about the deck? Show yourself. They shot, they shot. Boy, come here, what were the words? He said, the Santa Maria will be the lighter for his carcass. He said that, did he? I am sorry, sir. I knew how high feelings had run. Send Guillermo Iris to me. Sorry, sir, but... Discipline knows no buts. Discipline is a thing of the past, sir. It's you or us. Don Pedro, let Guillermo Iris be sent to me. He shall know what it is like in irons. Pedro is halfway down the stairs to the quarter deck when Guillermo airs and other seamen rush in an angry mass towards Columbus, growling like infuriated animals. Stop. What is the meaning of this wild uproar? The first man to move shall spend the rest of the night in irons. There is a perceptible pause, during which nobody moves. Then, with a wild cry, Guillermo Ears breaks away from the others and advances towards Columbus. And who's to put him in irons? We are 30 to 1. If nobody else is available for the office, I will perform it myself. Get below, let me hear no more of this. We've stood too much, we've been duped day in, day out. We're men with the common feelings of men. We want our homes and our families. I say the Santa Maria shall turn her helm towards Spain at once, or we are not men but sheep. And who shall navigate her? There's plenty here who can do that. The devil's with you, we all know that, riding the easterly wind, but we are not men unused to the sea. Once clear of this devil's track to nowhere, we'll blow our way back home. Signs of ascent from the rest of the crew. Columbus raises his hand, appealing for silence. He is paler than his wound, but very calm. Don Guillermo. You are an excellent sailor, a man of abundant resourcefulness. Someday, if your tongue does not run away with your discretion, you will achieve prosperity in your calling. Today you are an able-bodied seaman and no more, I am your captain. Your duty is to obey me as mine is to obey the royal sovereigns of Spain who sent me. Let that be clearly understood between us and we shall not fall out. Now return to your duties. Again a perceptible pause. Columbus's authoritative manner holds them. Presently Diego breaks out. Words for children, froth and scum, we are men, reason with us. Silence. The tone of authority calms the men, who remain, however, in a huddled crowd, murmuring discontentedly. Columbus turns and goes up the stairs to the poop, where he stands and looks down upon the men. I suppose you think you're on holy ground now. Have him down, pitch him overboard, put him in irons, devil's tool, Italian renegade. They're about to stampede up the poke gangway, when Pepe runs to the foot of the stairs and stands with arms spread out. Cowards, cowards, 
You will have to kill me first. Out of the way, devil's well, leak spittle. What? Does that child stand between me and death? Silence follows the commencement of his speech. My captain. Pepe, this is a voyage of discovery. I set out to discover a new world, a radiant land beyond unknown seas, to find new wealth and dominion for our sovereign king and queen, new souls for the sacrifice of our savior to redeem. So far I have discovered but one thing. I have discovered that when a man is given a vision he must follow it alone. Loyalty passes like seaweed on an outgoing tide. Friendship breaks as a mast hollowed by worms breaks. Discipline, duty and honorable obedience are bubbles that burst at the first contact. There remains but oneself. That is my only discovery so far, Pepe. Captain, I am loyal, I am still obedient, still your devoted servant. I am not ungrateful. I hope my loyalty has never been in question, sir. You have sometimes been silent, Don Pedro, when speech would have made your loyalty clear. But I thank you. Columbus turns and looks out at sea. For a moment his attention is affixed. He peers more earnestly into the darkness. There is a movement among the men. He turns. We are simple men, sir. Shall simple men judge their betters? We may as well wait till tomorrow, at any rate. Dark deeds are better done in the dark. Oh. Guillermo, scowling, but sheepish, slinks off, followed by one or two of the seamen. Desperate men do not always act up to the best that is in them, sir. I thank you for reminding me, Francisco. Your best cannot be better. Good night. Francisco half turns to speak again, but thinks better of it and goes, shamefaced. Several others go too, sheepish. A brief silence, Columbus does not move. He is struggling with overwrought emotion. When he speaks, his voice is not steady. Go boy. Two minutes ago, Don Pedro, I saw, I thought I saw, it was, it is. What, sir? A light, faintly flickering, rising up and down. Look. It is, sir. Glory be to God. It is, sir. A light. Land. 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 Did you see it, sir? A light. Blessed Mother of God. A light. Give the order to heave to. 